and like she's got a suitcase and she comes in and she's got like dildos that stick to the table and we're each supposed to have one in front of us and she is like i'm not going to ask you to do this but i'm going to show you how to deep throat and then before she goes no oh my god this is what is it that you do exactly the game where our panel tries to guess the unique job or hobby of the guest through yes or no questions each person takes turns questioning until they get a no response at which point it moves to the next person can they figure it out in the time allotted today's guest is amy who is a former writer for cosmo Let's, yeah, let's let's start with Bob, I guess. Go ahead, Bobby. Okay. Well, Amy, hi, hello. Uh, what, uh, is this job, is this something you currently do? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Something I did a little while ago. Oh, shit. Hey, no more, Amy! <laughs> <laughs> is this job in the creative field? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you leave this job to pursue other interests? No. In this job, were you creating something? Yes. Were you writing something? Mm -hmm. Were you writing something for a thing to watch? Either. No. Okay. So this is a writing job. Was this writing job? Um, mm -hmm. Oh my god! Why am I do this at least once an episode, Patrick? Where I completely forget where I am and what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're doing that right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's where my mind is kind of completely blank. Uh, I, call it, I call it the the Bob effect. Yeah, where it's just like, oh, suddenly I have to ask a very basic question. Would you write when you were writing? Would you were you working with a team? Oh gosh. I mean. Did you work a, a, a yeah. can I change the question? Yeah, what? Oh, no, you were going to answer. Never mind. I said yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, like, what, was the text that you wrote, was it published in red, like, like just like a, like a book or a magazine? Was it like the, the work? No, let me phrase that differently. Did, mm. <laughs> Patrick, I'm sorry. I don't, I like, it's like, it's like I do one and then the second one, I just forget what the show is. And we're still on, Bob. I know it's a nightmare, Joel. I welcome, wish it wasn't happening. Welcome, also. To, my, welcome <laughs> to my goddamn yeah. life. And I came back and I was like, "We're still on Bob." No, I'm yeah, but also, Joel, I think he's asked a question. I've asked one and question I, and then I've stuttered and stumbled and and. Killing it, Bob. You're doing great. Which is I'm, wonderful. Are you nervous, Bob? No, 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 no. I oh, no, Amy, <laughs> Amy. I want you to know with all my heart. You know what makes Bob nervous? Uh, common sense makes mm -hmm. oh, yep. um right. so you were you were writing would you say the writing is creative writing mm -hmm. um well, wait <gasps> can you define what would be uncreative writing yeah well like copywriting and stuff like that like 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 you were writing for yeah like i mean i guess all writing is creative in its own way are we no i make just, a mistake i'm just, I'm in just trouble like now? the wrong answer i want to give you the right answer. <laughs> So I want to give you, I want to know what you're giving me so that I can package what I'm sending back to you in the okay. proper form. For you? I, I think that the answer you're looking for is yes. Okay. Is, I want to let you off the hook right now. Okay. I just feel really bad and like you might have a stroke. No, 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 no I'll be okay. Don't, I'm really worried. No, no, no don't, don't, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I've, All right. I, I routinely do this. No, if, if Bob if Bob has a heart attack right now, it's because of his Midwest body is giving up. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's because it has, of a diet of mostly the, gravy and tater tots. Yeah, it has yeah. the fact that his mother most likely fed him pads of butter as a child. Right? Yeah, she definitely she did. She definitely nothing did. to do. Yeah, nothing to do with whatever happens right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when she didn't have a pacifier available, she'd just give me a stick of butter. Yeah. Um, All right, Bob. Now you're going to ask your third question, and it's okay, third question in the story. Okay. Minutes. So. <sighs> Did you write for a magazine? What? Did you write for a magazine? Did you? Yes, I did. Did you go for a magazine? Okay, I didn't expect a yes there. Does this magazine have a printed version? Yes. Okay, is this, wow, I didn't mean to get it right. Um, <laughs> I thought I was going to get it wrong and then we'll hand it off. Yeah, uh, I Oh no, so by getting it right, you trapped yourself in a hell of your own making? Yes, that is correct. Oh, um, did you, what a writer. Um, so you wrote for a magazine. Did you, were you a staff writer for that magazine? Yes. Um, yeah, hold on, Bob, so that's, you got it. She was a staff writer of a magazine. Congratulations. Which Bob. magazine? <laughs> hold on, now, now we're gonna get there. Now we're gonna get there. What magazine, Bob? Is it, 
a magazine, did the, uh, was it a news magazine? No, no, it did not do news. Okay. Has Thank anyone you. else even asked a question? Seriously, no. Bob? I'm sorry. <laughs> Have you already got it? I want to talk to these ladies. Okay, I will, I will go back here. <laughs> so, so it was not a news magazine. So now it's my turn. Oh, um, my answer was no, Bob, you're free. I'm free. Oh my God. Um, what was it in? Was it an entertainment magazine? Do you mean a magazine about the entertainment industry or an entertaining yes. magazine? Okay, no. I feel like. Did you write for Playboy or something? Oh, no. no. Oh. Playboy did come to my college and try to recruit um, in my first year. <laughs> I was at Barnard, which I don't know if you know. It's a women's college. Yeah. Don't. Hey, Amy, don't oh. give any more hints. <laughs> any background is hints. Stop talking. <laughs> Go ahead. Stop uh, talking, uh, Amy. Joelle. Tattoo uh, right here on the inside of my eyelids. I think it's Bob because I, oh, I think, it's, yeah, I think it's me. And if it's not entertainment, and it's not Playboy, and it's not news, is it a lifestyle magazine? I don't know what that means. Is it Us Weekly? That's an entertainment magazine. I see. I don't know. Is that lifestyle? Is that entertainment? I don't know. It's a no, though. <laughs> tell me what a lifestyle magazine is, and I'll tell you if it was in like, what genre. Like Better Homes and Gardens. No. Okay. Was it a comedy magazine no those don't exist <laughs> that's I'm not true oh so sad they have existed historically yeah they have historically existed they yeah the have. national lampoon mad magazine mad <laughs> famously <laughs> come, come I, I, when they stopped this most recent run the episode the issue that had like uh it had like I don't know Greg Proops or I don't know I don't know it had like all these really good comics writing for it and I got a subscription and they stopped. Oh, we need to see it. That's what they do. All right, so it, like, so we're on we're, we're on to Joelle. Last. Okay, uh, Joelle, ask your question. Is is this a, a music magazine? No. Is this technology magazine? No, my God, <laughs> you guys. We're getting further away. I think I, I think I know. But I can't imagine a single other type of magazine than the wow, one. Wow, that's crazy! <laughs> Amy, Amy, you're giving them way too much. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not. No, no. The fact that you're 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 over explaining things, it's confusing okay, okay. them. So let's just focus on yes or no questions. Just yes or no. Okay, it's not news. It's not entertainment. It's yeah. not lifestyle. It's not comedy. Bob, what was the last one you just asked? Technology. Technology. I need to ask Patrick a question. Yeah, so it is lifestyle. Um, okay. You're yelling at Bob that it wasn't, but it is a lifestyle magazine. How that is, is a, life, they, a lifestyle. Lifestyle is like, you know, architectural monthly. It's considered a lifestyle. It's, it's not. Uh, it's not architectural monthly. I apologize, monthly. Bob. Yeah. So well, we know now that it's definitely not architectural monthly. Was it geared towards a specific community? Mm-hmm. Um. Is this community considered a minority? No. That feels debatable. Was this was this bound like a bound magazine on like glossy paper kind of thing? Yes. yes. Does it have Does it have really pretty pictures in it? Yeah, uh, it depends what you like. Sure. Um, was it was it National Geographic or anything like that? No, but am I am I close? <laughs> yeah, am I? Are we getting further away or closer? Why are we getting Don't closer? Tell us. <laughs> Would you say this magazine? The primary reason somebody buys it is for the right. What? Or Playboy? People buy for the photos. Right. People would buy this magazine right. for the right. Correct. Nobody bought my magazine for the writing. Nobody bought it for the writing. I, I, I think that's a very strong. I'm Patrick disagrees. Okay. Um, 
I mean, I, I, oh, that's not true. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, they're not. It's not okay. Okay, if what you were asking is it is it a strictly visual magazine, then no. But if you're asking if the writing was like, I'm not asking if the writing is, you know, like it, it yeah. was literary, then no. Okay, so 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 it wasn't just pictures. It wasn't like people are buying it for like, pictures and writing is and highlights for children. No. Yeah. Okay. So um, I think people, I'm really bad at this. I'm, I'm in a constant state of confusion. So this is. Did I get a no? Was that a no? What was the question? I think it was the primary reason yes. to buy this is for the writing. Okay, okay. Uh, well, you, buy, you buy it to read it. It's a you buy it to read it. It's not like well, a I think it was a yes. I guess yeah, it's a, it's I yes. Guess it was. It's a yes. Again, okay. Bob. Um did the okay, well, did the was the writing in it was it a collection of fiction? Like was it a literary magazine? Okay. My mom used to call and say, why don't you just go, couldn't you just- No more, go no, more no more, no more hints. <laughs> no, no more hints. Let her go, let her go. No, 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 So she just, we're, we're ruling out the New Yorker right now. You said, I said it wasn't a literary magazine. So I know, but she also said- no, just, no. I like, didn't say that hold it's on. not no, a no. literary magazine. Cat, like, go yeah. ahead. Did the writing in the magazine address current events? Great question. I would say not current news events. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You agree, Patrick? I 100% Riley? agree. Yeah. I think it's not really, it's not known for being a current events Correct. news magazine. But it is about things that are happening currently, but not necessarily like a, like a news event. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're breaking our own show's rules, but I, I like it. <laughs> I'm an agent of chaos. <laughs> Does this have to do with the earth? It had to do with, no. It's not Boy's Life, is it? Boy Scout <laughs> magazine? I'm just saying random. I was just thinking you were going to say Boy's Life because. Did you? Were you really? Yeah. Were, were you as you were saying it, I'm like, yeah, it sounds like Boy's Life, just for a bunch of young white it boys. Does right? sound like Boy's Life. Is that, <laughs> yeah. one, is that the. That's the, the one for Boy Scouts. So it, it's geared towards a specific group of people. Did this group of people, do they share a hobby in common? No. As a matter of fact, they don't. Ish, right? Yeah. yeah, they don't. They don't. Does this have to, does this have to do with uh substances no okay you're thinking highlight uh -huh. thinking highlight. highlight not highlight yeah. uh, i remember i remember getting copies of that at the barnes and noble when i was a teenager and I, was like, I, knew, I knew the guy a teenager who, uh, i knew the i knew the person i knew that guy the highlight guy okay so these people all talk okay so it's would you say it's an alternative oh, lifestyle magazine? No, I just said I knew him. I didn't say I worked with him. I know. That's what I had to ask. If, no. No. But Sir, not alternative lifestyle. No. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Uh, what, was all of the writing in the magazine nonfiction? Yes. That's a great question. Were there interviews in the magazine? Yes. Was this a nationally published yeah. magazine? Hmm. So just so you guys know, we're we're almost out of time. We have about a minute left. Okay. So we can do this, guys. Do if I win, do I win? No, there's no winners. Just this winners. is a game you can only lose. <laughs> <laughs> um the people that it's geared toward, did they share the same career? No. We're not asking the right questions. I know. We're we're blowing it. I can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> I feel responsible. No, 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 no. All down. I did we it. We got to magazine writer too fast, and then we we really screwed ourselves. Yeah, we did. I blame myself. I have so many feelings about it. I have <laughs> a lot of feelings about it. Is this magazine related to something that you might do currently? You, Amy? No, at all. Is this magazine currently being published? Yes. Um. Does this magazine currently have a physical magazine that, yes. can, that you can yes, buy? Yes, yes, A lot of stuff went digital. That's why, that's why I asked. No, no, no. It's okay. Just keep asking. Go, 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 um, go, go. So if it's currently being published, it's lifestyle. Does it have anything to do with food? No. Okay, I'm out. Um, since we have run out of time, I'm going to let Kat ask some questions and then Joelle ask. But Bob, you're done. Oh, good. I, I'm, I'm out. Edit, I, edit out all the parts when I'm talking and you'll have like eight minutes. 
Yeah, yeah, no, I'm anticipating that. Can it be bought in like a grocery store? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Is it considered like an artsy magazine? No. Is it um pulp? Would you consider it pulp? No, I that's very specific. No. no Can I just specific. name some magazines? Everyone each gets to name one magazine, and whoever gets it gets the little crown. So go ahead, starting with uh, Bob, go ahead. Is it Guns and Ammo? No. Okay. Is it Time Magazine? No. What? Go ahead, Joelle. National Enquirer? No. Oh my God. You know it's bound. You know it's glossy. How fucking dare no. you all? No. I'm just going to call for everyone. Amy, why don't you just tell them what you, you, you wrote for? She's got a copy. No. Cosmo. Please. No. Oh. Cosmo, yeah. Cosmopolitan. Ugh. It's like a magazine I think of when I think of magazines. Hey, Amy, out of these three, who do you, who are you who are you most disappointed in? I, I, I you know what? I'll I'll say for me, Bob the Body Grenet. Yeah, really? of course. Body, Bob the Body. Bob. I know, I know. I really, I, I just really expected Bob was on because you were you were so for so long. In the zone. Cos Cosmo's like a lifestyle, like style mm -hmm. magazine. It's a women's magazine, right? Which is a very, yeah, but it's, very... it's also it's it's molded towards lifestyle. Wait, so but hold look... on, women are a minority. Oh, you guys, look, this is a Tampax ad <laughs> from 1999. Catherine, what were you saying? I'm crying foul. It's geared towards women, and women are a minority. No, there's actually speaking. more. I thought about this. So, I yes, there are more that. women. There are more women, but there's but something there's, called there's the patriarchy. Now, as a man, let me tell you about the patriarchy. All right? I got you on a technicality. So why don't you tell us about what it was like writing for Cosmo? Um, everybody just looked normal. And then we all would like have to like sit, like sit in rooms and come up with 100 ways to have sex. And in order to do that, we had to have 300 or 500 ways. And like, we would have to like, boom, 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 boom. How about like this? How about like this? I don't know. Stick it there. Okay. Where's the new erogenous <laughs> zone? Say the back of his legs. The back of his legs. Yeah. Maybe the knees. I don't know. That could be sexy. Okay. I'm putting it in. So and, I, I have a question. The and then we got invited stuff. to parties. So we did like, it wasn't, you know, we were like fancy nerds. We weren't like super cool. You know, the sexless stuff were those men? Because some of the stuff on those lists were nightmarish, right? Every now and then it was like, twist his balls, he'll love it. Like, what? were some we of those meant to be we... funny? Like, was... was it supposed to be a joke? No, like, no. Those... the first month, no, because what we would do is we would get specific sex things from sex ladies, right? Like researchers. Mm -hmm. And then we would take each of those and chop it up into tiny, tiny, tiny pieces and have different ways to touch it. So. <laughs> And so the first month that I was there, we, it, we ran a thing where it was a scrunchie. It was a scrunchie. And you put a scrunchie around his scrotum. It's called a scrunchum. I've never read Cosmo. And this, is this what Cosmo is? <laughs> yes. I, when I was a teenager, I'm, I'm old, as you guys may know. When I was a teenager, older. we would get Cos, with like, like our friend's sister who got Cosmos, and we'd read through the sex tips. And we'd be like, Oh, this one is telling them to twist our balls or to whatever. Like, yeah. we were like, that's insane. Who told them that that's a good idea? 